Hello air signs, welcome to my channel, Presence of a Goddess. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today is just going to be a general love message, I guess, for the air signs. So if it resonates, awesome. I appreciate if you subscribe, like, and share those who you think it resonate too. I do appreciate you. Any other information you need to know is down below. And thank you guys for your love, your support, and your donations, and your bookings. Thank you, thank you. I'm sending you love, peace, and blessings whenever you receive this message. So the angel number I got for my Gemini, Libras, and my Aquarius is the number 180. Be clear. State it simply. Get clear on what you want to receive from the universe. You have to know what you want in order for the universe to give it to you. When you have no plan, the universe will respond with continued confusion. Today, state simply to the universe what it is you want. Simple like that. Tell them what you want, what you need, they're going to give it to you, okay? Open your heart to receive, all right? Say it like you mean it, baby, okay? Say it like you mean it. Why did a song coming in my head uh, from Tyla, Water? I don't know. I've been hearing it, and it's, like, popping in my head. Um, I forgot how it goes, but something about water, all right? So, if you guys have water, make sure you drink your water, all right? Somebody could be thinking you got that water. Trip, trip. Okay, something could be leaking as well. That's what I'm getting here as well. What's the main energy for my air signs? Thank you, spirit. I'm getting an overflow of abundance as well. Okay, water sign could be significant. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm getting an ice cream truck. A haircut could be significant. A barbershop here. You, can, you could be a boy mom. Um, I'm also getting lowercase t's. I don't know what that means. Eight of Pentacles here. You working on something. You could be working on your manifestation. Maybe you feel like it's not coming in fast enough here. Scorpio, Pluto, something. You you, you feeling like you're in the dark or something, but something is about to come out to the light or something is about to be clear to you. All right? So some situation is about to change. You're coming out of a dark energy. Or if it's not a dark energy, it's some type of state of confusion. Okay? This could have something to do with your material world. So expect to hear something. Yeah, you're going to win. Whatever you've been trying to do, just remain calm. Yeah, walk by faith, not by sight. You don't see something coming here. I feel like somebody wants to um, blind you. Okay, you could be arguing with someone a lot here. Don't get distracted. All right, don't allow your emotions to cloud your judgment or the right decisions you need to make. That's what I'm getting here as well. Gemini energy, communication. I feel like if you are going entering a contest or a job or something, you're gonna get this job, you're gonna get some type of achievement. This could also be um, some type of contest you're gonna win. Something, somebody could be taking something out of context when it comes to your communication. Like someone is like um, misunderstanding you or you're just very misunderstood here. Or you feel in this way. You feel misunderstood. I'm getting emo energy here, but something is being cleansed and cleared out of your energy and you will be okay. All right. Twin flame and love. Okay. Arizona, you're about to get love real fast. Lightning. Someone's in love with you. Love is coming in fast. It could be thundering in your area. Marbles could be significant. It's reminding me of that game. What is that game called? Mechama? Mechalon? Mechalama? Something like that. The little marble game. I don't know why that's significant. Maybe like strategic. Something is strategically happening in your life that you don't see happening. It's like spirit is working in the background to strategically give you something that you have been asking for. But it's kind of like you don't understand it. Because sometimes we don't understand how God is going to give us something. You know? Love call. But it's love. If you've been asking for love, that's what you're about to receive. From a twin flame this is going to be balanced this is going to be exactly what you asked for so somebody could be expressing their emotions to you or somebody like you want to get to know someone this could be at a workplace for some of you guys this is a work bay for some of you guys this person has their own business or you have your own business you are about your business or this person is about their business here so somebody is not going to play with you i feel like this person going to let you know how they feel straight up and you're gonna be like, how you feel about like how you feel that about me so fast? But somebody just know what they want. 
So that's why spirits ain't get clear on what you want because somebody coming in to know what they want. So you better, don't be scared when you get it. Don't be scared now. That's what I'm getting here. <laughs> somebody like, don't be scared, okay? Yeah, because you, you did your shadow work. You did your healing, okay? But you could be questioning yourself like, is this person playing? This could be a Gemini. You could be a Gemini. Or did you want to meet this person in a social event or social media could be significant. Whatever this is, this person is very what you want, I got it type person. Yeah, your luck is turning around. Expect good luck here. This person could have money. But I mean, it's not just about money. But this person is going to pamper you if you're a divine feminine. Even if you're a divine masculine, this person is going to, going to treat you right. Okay? The color pink is very significant because I'm looking at two of my pink perfumes. So I feel like somebody perfume, it could be very significant. Somebody going to be smelling good. You going to be smelling. Somebody going to think you smell real good. Something about cologne could be significant. Somebody, something about a scent. You could be smelling this person already. That's a gift. I forgot what it's called. But when you smell something before meeting someone and you smell someone's energy, you are smelling this person's energy already. So if you smell like cologne or something, it could be your twin, your twin flame you're smelling. All right. Hey, okay. Yeah. Let's move in together. So they could, that's what I'm saying. This person will be very straightforward, but this is something you ask for. So don't be scared now. Okay, that's what I keep hearing. Don't be scared. Yeah, I am afraid of commitment. This is you. But I'm not getting that you're afraid of commitment. I feel like you're afraid to get hurt. Okay? Which, I mean, that's normal to feel. But I feel like this person will be very reassuring. You know? Yeah, don't bring your hurt from the past to this relationship. Yeah. My mama asked about you a lot. Just was just once she didn't mean nothing. Okay? Maybe this person is someone from your past here. It didn't work out. It's going to come back together for some of you guys. Some of you guys, this is somebody new. Yeah, because somebody from the past could have been a sex addict. So let me get one more card. I'm keeping a secret, but it's not who or what you think it is. I accidentally fell in love with you. Some of you guys already met this person and they're already in love with you. I told you, like, this person is going to fall in love with you really fast. And I feel like you're going to feel the same way, but you're going to be, like, scared. You're like, wait a minute, is this real? And it's like, yeah, because that when love calls, when love calls, I accidentally fell in love. That's what they're going to say to you. Like, I'm in love with you. All right. So, let's get into it. Some of you guys are growing your hair out. Some of you guys are um, reading a lot, getting into nature a lot. You've done, you done your shadow work. So, this is why this is coming in. Yeah, somebody's about to come in and surprise you with love. All right? Some of you guys, this could be somebody from your past. But I feel like most of you guys, this is somebody new. Yeah, unexpected money. That's why I said your money is going to improve. If you've been asking about money, your money is going to improve. The 27th could be very significant, which is the day that I'm um, recording this. Yeah, so if you've been going through financial issues, it's actually going to improve. It could be thanks to a man a masculine who wants a family with you or who has a home or family oriented and want to take care of you and your children or you i don't know you don't even have to have children just you want to build a family with you want to have a baby with you yeah because something's over if you've been going through a lot of financial hardships it's over you're going to receive a message of fortune. If it's not from a masculine, it could be you just you guys are just building together for fortune. But and it's not going to be like hard because you could be like a single parent or you could be just single and you just tired of doing this by yourself. I feel like, um, yeah, somebody's going to come in and definitely like your life is about to transform. Something's over. The coffin has closed. You're closing out a cycle. This is what the full moon of Aries is about is closing out cycles from your past so you can be open to receive this new love so that's what i have for you so yeah i'm gonna make this the full moon in aries reading because this is definitely what that is so get ready for a new cycle where it's involving love and support and financial abundance love you guys